Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Happy Halloween to all the fans. Uh, uh, I usually uh, do a lot of lists every year. Mostly I do Valentine's Day. That's my favorite, one of the favorite lists. This year I decided to do Halloween one. It is basically started from yesterday, I guess, yesterday and today. So I'm a little bit late in the party. But I just want to share some of my uh, 15 fragrance, I would say. Uh, I think it would be really good if you're, even today, if you're going to attend some, uh, like say, Halloween parties or, you know, gatherings or anywhere you know if you have a th theme like that going on so i think these 15 fragrances i would suggest for that and i kind of rank them in a way but uh they are mostly you understand it's mild cold weathers in bangladesh and in your country if you are celebrating this uh basically you will have mild cold weather fall towards winter so heavier fragrances a little bit darker fragrances they will do nicely so i have kind of like a good mix going on i got some sweetness i got some pepperiness i got uh you know, kind of tobacco-ish, uh, boozy, dark leather, you know, like mysterious ones. But on most part, these are dark ones, okay? So, let me go without any honorable mentions. Uh, I have the first one, that's number 15, is a fragrance that is different from the whole bunch. I'm just suggesting this for people who like to smell strong, but you are a little bit on a budget, like you don't want to spend so much. Uh, this fragrance will be really, really good. This house basically makes amazing fragrance okay first one i'm gonna show you number 15 is latafa oud mood okay very beautiful bottle and juice color as you can see dark opulent juice color and this fragrance can be had for 20 dollars around there okay 20 25 bucks as far as i remember very affordable so this perfume got heavy bottle heavy cap and this basically has the same dna as um, i think uh, lancome oud bouquet or uh, dior uh, Oud, uh, there's one Dior's Oud, I forgot the name, but basically, yeah, this this has this DNAs and it's very sweet, very opulent and very beast mode. This one will project a lot. That's number 15. Okay, let's just put it there so I'm going to get up and, you know, back and forth because it's kind of far. Okay, so number 14 I'm going to show you is one of that fragrance, you know, it goes with this theme, you know, it's just really, uh, really beautiful. Okay, uh, this is from House of John Barbados. I, I hope they're okay now and they're continuing to make perfumes i'm going to show you dark rebel a very beautiful amazing bottle and these are getting a little bit hard to find in bangladesh i don't know why that is but this one goes with the theme of the halloween halloween is supposed to be uh, some of the movies i watch there's some horror movies you like to watch candies right stuff like that and uh, this fragrance goes with that it's like a bit dark you know it has this kind of like a tobacco leathery sort of like a uh, smoky feel okay this one definitely give it a try dark rebel by john barbados number 14. number 13 i'm gonna go with one of my favorite fragrance this year i bought this is from house of cristiano ronaldo uh, cr7 this is called legacy private edition one of the most beautiful looking bottles in my collection i definitely say one of my favorite players and i'm happy he's in manchester united and this one has magnetic top really really nice presentation this one what you get with this is like the maple syrup maple sap people say and the sweetness in this the opening is just so stunning it's like sort of like a freshness then got the sweetness it goes to a darker territory but makes it very like candy like experience very sweet this is very uh, sensual flirty kind of fragrance for youngsters you can definitely give it a try christian ronaldo legacy private edition number 13. <clears throat> number 12 number 12 i'm gonna go with this uh, weird one okay this is the scary one let's say you are gonna watch some horror movie and then you're gonna you love the theme of let's say um michael jackson's thriller you know this fragrance is thriller in a bottle i i'd like to call it that because this one some people even describe it as a fragrance fit to wear i did a weird list many people hated on it it's called uh fragrance to wear in funerals i did out of respect i didn't mean to make fun of the deceased or anything but you know when you go to funerals usually people do not wear fragrances but you know if you could wear one that matches the theme this fragrance would be that but i also think this is going to be perfect for uh, this kind of time okay there's narcissus rodriguez for him edt uh, there is the edp version which i love a lot during winter this one is the violets okay man this fragrance is so different got this unique cement note like wet pavement note and it just smells very stunning very gothic and very long lasting this is musk heavy as well if you do enjoy musk give it a try but it's beautiful fragrance okay narcissus rodriguez for him edt that's number 12 number 11 this fragrance should have made uh, a little bit higher up in the list but it's very potent you know that's the thing like it's got massive longevity and projection 
but uh, what I really feel uh, this fragrance basically just need one spray do not do more than one and this is the new version of uh, Tom Ford's very popular black orchid this is the black orchid perfume okay a little bit more rounder a little bit more wearable polished version of the black orchid right there that is EDP this one it's a winter heavy fragrance this one if you pull it off in hotter months very big mistake but you will get noticed with it for sure got this truffles chocolatey vibe dark you know it's very dark very uh like intense fragrance you know it's like uh, tom ford should have made it part of their private collection this is number 11 tom ford black orchid perfume or parfum <laughs> so we have 10 left top 10 and uh, number 10 i'm gonna start with a stunning perfume this is Kind of like again going with the halloween theme so the i'm not including the original i'm including this one this one house of cartier and uh, this is called cartier declaration d'un soir intense okay so this is the name okay i'll write down the names anyway this is the darker version or darker elder brother of declaration d'un soir uh what it does declaration d'un soir you guys know it's a rose heaven it got a little bit of pink pepper and sandalwood this one tones down those uh rose and uh, sandalwood amps up the spiciness it's like pink pepper black pepper and god this fragrance projects okay if you want to go with the theme like dark rose with the black suit or something like it this one exactly you can see the black and red combination this is what it does amazing fragrance you'll smell like unique nobody will smell like you declaration don't swear intense uh, that's number 10 number nine i've included one of my personal favorites i brought it in a list which I was going to put something else, you know, like I have many other fragrances, but uh, frankly speaking, I could have included uh, By the Fireplace or Angel Share, great fragrance, but I've shown them in recent time a lot. So I'm deciding to show something underrated. This perfume um, I bought in my early part of my journey. I just love it so much. You better give it a try. This kind of weather it will do fantastic. This is Burberry's uh, Brit uh, Rhythm, I think. Yeah, Burberry Brit Rhythm, yeah, for men. And the fragrance got this peppery quality, raspberry, fig, all those things. But it's basically a leather in the end. It's a sweet, sexy. Think of something like Armani Code, uh, Profumo, or uh, meets like Armani Code meets, let's say, Lanvin Delon, that kind of a feel. But it has its own character. Very unique fragrance. Very unique. Just love the fragrance. Very beautiful. And it's kind of like fits the theme with the darker bottle as well. Burberry Brit Rhythm. Okay, that's number nine, I guess. Yes, number nine. <clears throat> sorry early morning woke up a uh, voice still not good next one it's a very popular one this is an obvious obvious one i include this in every winter list this is gonna be ch man Privé. uh just uh one of the fragrance i love just the opening is a 10 out of 10 and this fragrance wins uh like hearts of people when they smell it on you they give you compliments got this whiskey got this like fruity um i think some sort of fruit okay and then the leather booze leather fruitiness is just stunner okay and i just love how intoxicating the smell is it's just sugary vibe as well this fragrance will get you perhaps if you're going with a date uh, i think you should wear this with maybe a light uh like brown leather jacket sort of it will look really slick uh when you're wearing this perfume ch man Privé. next uh, something in line with that, but I was going to include Spice Bomb, right? And Spice Bomb is really good, but I already included Cartier Declaration Don't Swear Intense. That is similar to Spice Bomb with um, much more heavier pepper. I do have one Spice Bomb in the list, but that's different from that. But instead of Spice Bomb, I'm including this one, Bulgari's Man in Black. Man, this perfume, I just did one video yesterday. This fragrance made it one of the top fragrances that aged well over time. Just a stunner, sweet uh like ram tube rose that tube rose makes it very distinguishable and also the smell the pepper the quality everything the leather amazing fragrance it's a masterpiece okay bulgari is man in black go a little bit heavy on the spray on your shirt like go six seven whole evening would be amazing you'll smell like really really manly and uh it's really uh playful yet uh, sophisticated high class scent okay bulgari is man in black <clears throat> number six this fragrance, I really wish, uh, I think one of my previous years, this one made my number one or top five always. But today it's like missing out top five because of some new fragrance that I have. But this is the fragrance that defines Halloween. I mean, for me, such a weird fragrance, such a beautiful, stunning, long lasting fragrance, underrated. This is Lolita Lempica O Masculan. I did review a couple of other um, flankers from this line, but nothing beats the licorice in this this is licorice heavy i think they got iris in this 
forward but it's amazingly sweet you have not smell anything like it if you haven't smelled this one okay uh, this one look at the bottle it has this candied sort of vibe you know like halloween candies it's kind of like a weird <laughs> if you can get a vintage version which has a built-in atomizer with the without the cap that would be also awesome but this one the performance is just a stellar of a performer okay lolita lempica lempica oh masculine that's number six so we have top five what are the top five fragrances all sweet and i can assure you uh, sorry I can assure you one thing, this fragrance is gonna make a statement. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, like uh, early morning, I still get messages. Anyway, uh, it's not Halloween or it's not uh, the spirits. Anyway, <laughs> just stupid. Anyway, so top five are all about sweet fragrances. A little bit of twist here and there, but mostly they're very sweet. And I like to always prioritize sweet fragrances. For some reason, I feel more than the fresh perfumes, darker, sweeter fragrances are more noticeable, longer lasting and they make a bigger uh, sort of a projection. So people sort of like that, you know, during Halloween, especially winter months, sweeter fragrance do really well. Number five, I'm gonna go with Pure Tonka. I initially picked up Pure Malt, uh, which is right there, Pure Heaven, Pure Malt and Beeman. I have the whole lineup almost, but this fragrance, man, this fragrance, this is sweet, this is spicy, and it got like gingerbread cookies sort of feel. And the Tonka in this is very impressive. Sadly, discontinued, I have a backup bottle, thankfully. Uh, this basically is, like i would say like theory mugler's beast and it's more beast mode than original amen which is also nice but this one is straight up like sweetness sweetness spiciness and if you have two sprays on this man you will fill up the whole room or ballroom okay so pure tonka number five amazing 10 of 10 fragrance okay number four very happy to show you this fragrance for i think second time or something but it's one of my favorite buys this year easily easily i love this fragrance fluffy vanilla sweetness and uh, it got this kind of like uh, fluffiness about it it's very sweet and it's very playful and it's very long lasting if you like azaro wanted by night or fragrance like salvatore ferragamo vumo if you wanted a beast mode ultra beast mode you should definitely try it this is the best from invictus line one of them anyway invictus victory and i have a massive 200 ml bottle because i love this bottle so much these are like so awesome okay uh, this fragrance it will project basically if you like pure night pure excess night and uh, this is more beautiful version of that okay and the thing is so well balanced and it just wears so lovely you know on skin and clothes combined will project and last long time on the best perfumes in recent times invictus victory that's number four number three we're gonna go with another big boy this is uh lamal le parfum and from house of jean paul gautier uh this is one of uh flankers from lamal line and you guys know my sentiments about it. It's a masterpiece. I give it always 10 out of 10. Stands really tall in the whole bunch, right? But the fragrance, what a masterpiece. It has everything in it. You know, like all the best notes possible. Iris, pear. Uh, it got leather. It got something uh, sweet. It got the, like vanilla. It got lavender, uh, cardamom. If you hear those notes, it's like a fragrance dream, okay? This is a dream come true kind of fragrance, okay? And got really good performance too, okay? I think this is the best from Lamal line in the modern day. Lamal Le Parfum by Jean Paul Gaultier. We have two left, okay? These two had really good battle. I thought of like, okay, number two should be number one or other way around. No, this is the way we went. Uh, I was telling you about Spice Bomb. One of them made the list and this is definitely uh, worthy of being here. This is that Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. Uh, sadly discontinued and getting a little bit rare to find and prices are going really high in Bangladesh. I don't know about rest of the country. I mean, rest of the world. Uh, Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. The whole line is very expensive. Flower Bomb, even more expensive. What it does, this one is a hookah tobacco note with a vanilla and it's a, it's a niche fragrance. Okay, it's like a niche quality juice, which even takes that Spice Bomb level to next uh, like spice bomb dna to next level uh, try it out i think this will fit the occasion perfectly okay so good if you like even latent kind of fragrances nishani ani uh, this one will actually do the you know like service for you uh beast mode longevity too spice bomb extreme by victor and rolf leads me to number one what is number one and uh i think more or less everything was in this list was designerish. yeah they're all designer but this is the one that is niche but I thought about it, you know, I love this fragrance. It's like a fusion of kind of like you can say Herod, uh, red tobacco, some of the other perfumes. Man, this fragrance, the sweetness. Okay, I had to, had to make it number one. This is Parfum de Marly, Carlisle. 
you can go any perfume you want like you can go uh, let's say Herod, Leighton any of the perfumes you go they're really sweet they do the same thing basically but Carlyle just does it better with the performance okay it's a stunner of a perfume okay uh, Parfum de Marly doesn't joke around with their presentation smell and this fragrance will be perfect for Halloween night if you're actually because you're going with some theme right like let's say you're going with uh, I don't know Freddy versus Jason uh, any of this fragrance if you go with one of those characters it will really rock okay so all the best thanks for watching and I hope you try some of these if you don't have, uh, if you have any of these, you can wear them all equally good, right? Thank you very much for watching. Happy Halloween to all of you. Have a fun time, guys, and I'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.